As you probably know, I've recently built myself a new PC and I've been loving it. Alright, so I got a bunch of PC components came in today. Not this, this is the 3070 Ti. I got this at Falcon. Uh, these I also got at Falcon. The uh, Kingston Fury Renegade, I cannot find these online. Um, I'm not sure why I could only find them at Falcon, kind of weird. Another thing that, this is the first thing that came in today. This is my one terabyte Western Digital Black SSD. Uh, fourth generation, really nice. I got the Ryzen 5600X, really excited about that. But then this tiny little box came and I was like, wait, what is that? I didn't order a power supply. Is that the motherboard? What? I open it up, I'm like, what? How little is this thing? My hand is bigger than this motherboard is. People are probably sitting there like, uh, you ever seen an ITX before? Uh, yeah, I've seen an ITX before. But I did not know that it was gonna be that small. So the only thing I have to wait for is a case, which is gonna be coming either today, tomorrow, or the next day. And then I gotta go over to a buddy of mine's because he has an F SFX power supply. Um, thank you, Trevin. And yeah, I'm gonna go pick that up. So I'm excited, I have almost everything I need. The case I chose is the Fractal Design Node 202, and after spending some time with it, there's a lot that I love. It's compact, easy to land party with, the side panels are both removable, which makes getting inside and fiddling around very easy, but the case is bland and ugly. I don't mean any offense to Fractal, but this thing looks more like a DVR than a badass gaming PC. You see, I was a console gamer, grew up in the GameCube and the Xbox, and as I build these microsystems, I tend to refer to them as my console killer PCs. The PS5 I built a few years ago is a good example of this, and I wanted to do something similar when I built in this case. This thing is going to be my new Xbox, my Xberry box, but in order to really complete her transformation, she needs a hefty makeover. So I enlisted the help of my friends Alec and Trevin, forced them into my garage, and we started the project. Alright everybody, welcome to my garage. We've got Trevin over here, Alec over here, and we've got Barry, if that wasn't super blurry. So what we're doing today is we've taken the case and we've taken the panels off of the case, which is so cool that the computer has these panels removable like this. I didn't have to take apart the computer. All I had to do was remove the shell. So we have over here three different colors, technically two. We've got white, we've got this sail blue, and we have this clear gloss seal. So the idea is we're taking alcohol, microfiber cloth, we're prepping the case, and we're gonna start spraying it down. So let's begin. Everyone give us a hell yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> now, I had a vision of what I wanted the case to look like when we were done. The first thing we had to do was start spraying down the case with our gloss white primer. Now, it may seem like I'm laying it on real thick with that paint, and this is intentional. See, the case has a bumpy texture, so I needed to apply a heavy enough coat so that we could sand the paint down and go over it again. This would smooth out the texture without damaging the metal of the case underneath. As I was painting the back, I realized that there was a sticker back there that I didn't remove, so I had to spend some time taking that off. Beyond that, the Fractal Design logo was also showing through the paint, but don't worry, this would go away after some sanding. After the first side panel was sprayed and ready, it was time to move on to the back panel. All right, so this is our second coat of the white, and god damn it. <laughs> All right. I might be colorblind. So the second coat actually looks really good. Um, I'm quite surprised, and uh, my buddy's here saying the same thing. 
We weren't expecting it to look as good as this. So we're gonna take some sandpaper, we're gonna sand them down, see what that looks like, and then if we have to do another coat, we have to, and then if not, we can move on to the blue. While my buddy sanded down the case, I went back to the store for some more spray paint. I wanted to make sure that we had more than enough, and it ended up being a really good call since we ran pretty low on the white gloss. Alec and Trevin spent over an hour sanding this case down, and I had no idea how involved this process was going to be. Once the case was nice and smooth, we could apply the last coat of white and leave it overnight to dry. So back in my room, this is what my PC looks like right now. I'm a little worried because she is a terrible little monster. And so if I leave this uh, computer overnight, just sitting here like this, she's probably gonna just go in and undo the cables and chew through them. So I gotta figure something out so that she can't get to this thing. But I can still use my computer while uh, the case is being painted. So I'm, <laughs> I love this case so much. I'm actually really impressed with, uh, I mean, how to build into it and how customizable it is for being so small. The next morning, I woke up and started prepping the case for the next step. I thought this would be easy, but I actually spent most of the day just working on the preparation. Take a look. All right, so I've spent most of today just going through and fixing some stuff. Uh, this panel right here is a mix of metal and plastic. So let me see if I can actually get this thing to focus. This bottom bit right here that goes all around uh, this panel, that's all plastic, whereas the top is metal. And it's kind of hard to get the, the paint to bond to this plastic, so I've been having to re-sand it down and then go at it again. And I think I finally got it where I want to. So the plan with this thing is that whole edge, that whole edge is gonna be taped off. And then up here, I'm gonna have two stripes like I was talking about. This whole vent here, that one right there, that's gonna be taped off. So I'm deciding whether or not the streaks are gonna go up and around and then to the other side, or if that one's just gonna be left blue. So I gotta let this dry for another couple hours and I can finally put on some blue paint. I spent the majority of the day taping off the sides that would remain white. I wanted to tape off the plastic edges of the side panel and then wrap some pinstripes up and around the entire case. So the taping process has been completed, and this was the biggest pain for the entire thing. Um, I put these two cases back together so that I knew where these uh, lines would follow each other, but this, this rim around, oh my good lord, that was insane. Only because I had to get down into that crack all the way around. The corners are really the hardest part. Either way, now is time where I can finally start spraying the blue on there. And if I mess this up, I'm gonna be really sad. Now one thing I also did was I wanted that vent that goes right there to stay white. So I took it out and I spray painted it white and it's drying by itself. So I don't have to worry about taping that off because that was already a big enough deal. So we're good to go. Now I tried really hard to make sure the coats I applied were as light as possible. This was the final coat, so I didn't want the paint to pool up in one area. This required the most amount of patience. I sprayed on a very thin coat, let it dry, and kept doing that until the whole case was blue. After a couple hours, the final coat was applied, and it was now time to let them dry overnight. So these have been left to cure all night. The blue looks amazing. So all I have to do is take all the tape off the side and those two strips on both of these and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, this is the big reveal. I'm so excited. Now I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me pull all the tape off. Let's just skip ahead to the pinstripe, shall we? Oh, 
Huh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I missing here? Oh yeah, let's put this computer back together, shall we? Now I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the things that I improved. As you can see in this shot, I set up a custom profile in Asus Armory to have the RAM cycle from white to blue. This aesthetic matches the paint perfectly and it looks gorgeous. I also didn't like the plastic rim around the case. It didn't turn out right, so I'd actually removed this piece from the case altogether, took some paint thinner to it, and redid it entirely. Beyond that, the Bluetooth shark fin that comes with this motherboard is an eyesore. Plus, my cat likes to chew through these. So I replaced it with these little antennas which look a lot better and operate like they were made for it. The only thing to fix now was the airflow. See, this case is pretty bad on airflow. The CPU fan is so far away from the outside of the case that it just recycles the warm air that's already inside. When I render videos or play games, the CPU sits at about 82 to 87 degrees Celsius, which isn't dangerous but it's still unacceptable for me. So I spent a bit of time with a computer engineer buddy of mine and we made ourselves a 3D printed fan duct specifically for the CPU fan that I bought. This is one reason I kind of wish I would have just bought the Noctua LH N9i cooler. Not only is this CPU fan that's in my build the loudest fan in the case, but there are already fan duct mods for the Noctua cooler. If I'd have just spent a little bit more money, my case would have been quieter and I wouldn't have had to spend time designing one for the ID cooling IS40X that I bought. Overall though, designing the print was a really fun experience, and now at load my CPU stays at around 60 degrees, which makes me feel much more comfortable. This was easily the biggest project I've ever tackled with a PC, and now that she's all painted up and beautiful, I finally have a fully portable console killing Xberry box. I hope you all had a good time with this project. I can't tell you how happy I am with the end result. Kind of funny though, I did all that work and then I just got myself a new monitor which blocks my view of the computer. Typical.